If you like venomous snakes, stay tuned, because today we're talking about the pygmy rattlesnake. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Josue from Josue's Exotics and on this channel we make videos about reptiles and amphibians and how to take care of them and we also do informational videos like this one today. So if you're interested in learning about these creatures just as much as I am, consider subscribing. So this video in particular is the second installment of the Venomous Snakes of Georgia. So if you guys don't know, here in Georgia, we have a variety of species of venomous snakes, including your coral snake, your diamondback rattlesnake, your timber rattlesnake, your copperhead, your water moccasin, and you also have your pygmy rattlesnake. And these venomous snakes can be found across the entire state in various habitats, ecosystems, and environments. So to start out, this little guy here is the pygmy rattlesnake, the Cistrus malarius. And this little pit viper can be found across the entire southeastern United States, as you can tell from this range map here on the right side of the screen. And doing a little bit of research into this particular species of rattlesnake, I came to find out that there are three subspecies of pygmy rattlesnake, all with different scientific names. You have your dusky pygmy rattlesnake, the Cistrus malarius barbari. You have your western pygmy rattlesnake, which is your Cistrus malarius streckeri, and then you also have your Carolina pygmy rattlesnake, which is the one that I have in particular, which is the Cistrus malarius malarius. Then you also have the cousin to the pygmy rattlesnake, the Massasauga rattlesnake, the Cistrus catenatus. And funny enough, the rattlesnakes actually in the Cistrus family aren't really considered true rattlesnakes because of the actual family that they're in. Uh, the only true rattlesnake family there is, is the Crotalus family. And unlike the larger cousins in the Crotalus family, the pygmy rattlesnake actually has nine dorsal scales on top of its head and it has a super small rattle that's actually seldomly heard. But luckily today, you're gonna get to hear what this little guy sounds like. So moving on to habitat for the pygmy rattlesnake, these little rattlesnakes can be found near water sources like creeks, swamps, and marshes, but can also be found in your pine, oak, sand hill habitats. But the Carolina pygmy rattlesnake is restricted to your more drier habitats and are more commonly found in your sand hills and pine oak woods. So moving on to diet for the pygmy rattlesnake, and in the wild these rattlesnakes feed on small mammals, lizards, and mostly frogs. So now it's time for everybody's favorite part of the video where we discuss venom information. In general, envenomation and venom plays a huge role in venomous snakes' predation methods and how they take down prey. First off, venom helps aid in digestion because it helps to break down proteins actually in the body once it's been injected in said prey item. Also, venom leaves chemical cues in the prey item so that after the fact that they scurry off and run away, the rattlesnake will be able to find the prey item and go digest it. Venom in venomous snakes in general is nothing to play with and it's some pretty funky stuff. So even though the pygmy brow snake is not as serious as a bite as say a eastern diamondback or something like that, if you get bit, no matter the species, copperhead, water moccasin, whatever it is, you need to seek medical attention immediately. Because, for instance, the pygmy rattlesnake has a hematoxic because venom. In particular, so that means it's going to the attack your actual blood has cells, a circulatory venom, system, which means and this that is going to attack your swelling, blood cells, necrosis of the flesh, and hemorrhaging of your blood vessels and other aspects like that. Which is no bueno. So tell me, guys, what you think of this video down in the comments of the venomous snakes of Georgia. And we're going to keep rolling with this particular series. And we're going to be doing the coral snake next. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. So tell me what you guys and think the of the video of the venomous snakes of Georgia in the future, uh, as long as I can find one. So, so tell me, guys, what you think of this video well, down in the comments on the, the venomous snakes of, of Georgia. And we're going to.